time to start the six man qualifying for the triple threat match since my Royal Rumble glitched out <laughs> before the number 30 entrance could come out which I don't know who number 30 was it's supposed to be myself my guy versus number 30 but whoever wins this gets to go on to face me and Roman Reigns in a triple threat match for the Universal and WWE Championship. So it'll be Chad Gable versus Pete Dunne versus Moe Joe versus Dexter Loomis versus uh, Randy Orton versus Oh yeah, Kushida. Kushida's the last one. Oh, Randy's in. It's Randall Keith Orton for Randy Orton. I hear voices in my head. They talk to me. They understand. They talk to me. They talk to me. Oh, of course, I have my savior. Hates to love and loves to hate. I have a voice that has the knowledge and the power to do your fate. I hear voices crying. I see candles dying. I taste blood that's shining. What the hell is Randy doing? Is he posing? Ooh, that had to hurt. Just chucks him. Oh, the bitter end. Is this when Gable could be out? One, two. Oh, he kicked out of the bitter end. It's almost like anything in anything in this freaking game you can kick out of. It's almost like your finisher isn't actually your finisher. And that's one of the biggest problems with this game. Your finisher should be the no end all. No. Your finisher anybody can kick out at any time. So you got this should not be possible. There's no way she had to get it to go. Friggin' Jay. There's another thing about it. There is no way some of these smaller guys would be able to pick up people like Joe Strowman. Uh, no bitter end. People like Gable. Oh, kick out. He has a bitter end and is no longer a finisher. Because they no none of them have finishers anymore. 
A finisher is supposed to be called a finisher for a reason. It means you finish somebody off. Nah, this is this is just a joke when it comes to finishers. Why are you picking up my cat? Tombstone. Hi, Esther. What are you doing? his finisher and Jag gave us that hits. So if that means Joe's gonna choke somebody out, Joe, who she does in. Her last competitor for the Elimination Chamber is in Cat. Because she is going after Joe? Because she is going after Joe. Uh, he done Randy Orton and then Gable Loomis. Thank you. So you got the master of the Alpha Academy versus the guy who stares at you creepily. You got Kushida, who's trying to be like Marty McFly, versus the probably one of the greatest. Promo speakers in all of wrestling in Samoa Joe. We got Randy Orton, who is like a veteran. Joe and pretty sure Joe and Randy are probably the two oldest veterans in this. Joe with his ROH and TNA and all that background. And Randy in his 20, 25 years in WWE. Because Randy has never been outside of WWE. There's not a lot of the guys that haven't been outside of WWE still in WWE. Randy's one of them. So the question is... And Randall Keith Orton. Will Randall, Randy ever wrestle for another wrestling company? As if maybe WWE collaborates. You know, like a YouTube collaboration. Maybe Triple H can collaborate with New Japan or Impact. Seems to be on a better relationship with Impact than most wrestling companies. I mean, you got AJ Styles, Mickey James, and all and all that stuff from Impact. Maybe Scott Demore and Triple H can come out with some kind of conclusion where they can collaborate together and see some of the Impact guys in WWE or the other way around. I mean, now that Triple H is with, there's no restrictions on, on uh, saying wrestling. The promos are a little more lenient, especially if they go to CB14. Maybe we can get a little more blood, some tax. Maybe a little, maybe, maybe some pile drivers. That's the, that's one thing you haven't seen in WWE for a long time. 
Ever since, I'm pretty sure it was when Stone Cold got hurt. That's the last time we saw Pyro Drivers. Two. Two. Oh, kick out of the RKO. One, two, three. I can't believe he kicked out of the RKO. Nobody's been able to kick out a water wing angle. That's like probably the only protected finisher left. And WWE used to have their own in the end of days, but somebody kicked out of that. That was Drew. And technically, people have kicked out of the one wing angels, but it was not done by Kenny. After that V-trigger, I mean, that V-trigger looks like it hurts sometimes. And you have two former tag team partners of Matt Riddle and Randy Orton and Pete Dunn going against each other, but now it's Chad and Randy. One. One. Why has nobody gone for Pete Dunn, who just got super RKO'd? Not just a regular RKO, super RKO'd. Ducks to Loomis. A flying leg drop, and he missed. Ooh, German suplex. Kevin Owens said he always wanted to do package plays ever again, and still, until somebody changes their mind in WWE, which that's like, that's probably one of the reasons to go TV 14. They say, oh, WWE's for kids, we need to entertain it. I mean, AEW doesn't have a problem with that, and they're TV 14. Kids are not as immature as people give them credit for. They're way smarter than you think. We act like they're, they're these dumb little things, but they are not. Oh, there goes Gable. So now it's Randall, Keith, it's Randy, Dexter, Pete Dunn, and Kushida. It's 12 minutes. This match has been going on for 12 minutes, and there's two eliminations. These, why do these matches always seem shorter? in this game than they do in real life. I mean, I can see this going on for at least maybe 30. But in this, it's only been going on for 12. No, there goes Kushida. So now it's just Randy, Loomis, and Pete. Let's see. One, two. Oh, kick out by Randy Orton. So now, Randy's got his signature and his signature. Pete Dunn just did his signature. Going to pay Loomis. Two. Oh, kick out by Loomis. Why are you not going after Dexter? Powerbomb. Suplex. This is gonna be a two count. There's no way it's a three. I didn't think so. Flex was not hard enough. Oh, 
Get her in, but it's gonna be a two count. For the super rock hill. Yep. Why are you losing? Why are you not pinning done? Yeah, I guess he's gonna. Well, there goes Randy. So now it's Pete Dunn and Dexter Williams. And Dexter Williams has his finisher. Oh wow. And here's your winner, Dexter Loomis. I never thought I'd say that. Dexter Loomis just won the Elimination Chamber. So now it'll be me versus Dexter Loomis versus Roman Reigns in a triple threat for the Universal and Champion.